Okay, in this third one, we're going to create a coil. The only thing you need to draw is this eighth of an inch circle, and from the center of that circle, you'll need a line that's 0.25 over, and then we're gonna coil or spin that around that axis. Um, the line does not have to be dashed, it can just be a solid line. Uh, note the spring size, the length is two inches, and we're gonna do six revolutions uh, within that uh, two inch space. So over in Inventor, we just finished the revolve part. I'll go to base. Uh, not the base, I'm going to go to new file, um, new standard IPT, we're going to hit create, I'm going to start a sketch, pick a work plane there to work off of, I'll begin uh, with my line there, I'm going to go ahead and just make this two inches, but uh, the length of your axis is not actually important, it's only the distance that the circle is spaced off of that. So I'm going to start with a circle here, uh, 0.125 is the diameter, and then I'm going to locate that from the center over and if we look back on there, 0.25 inches from the center over. And that's all you have to do. You finish your sketch. You're going to go to the coil tool. It pre-selects uh, my profile, and now it wants to know the axis, so I'm going to click this. Um, right now, the option or method is set to pitch and height. I'm going to set this to revolution and height, because that's what I have. Um, and I have six revolutions, and I'm going to do two inches. Uh, now you can change the coil direction, whether it's left or right. You can also change it to go up or down. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it's not really specified uh, for this. If you have this set to something else, uh, like if you had pitch and pitch and height, uh, you could tell it that the height's two, and then 0.125 would be every 0.125 inches. It goes around 360 degrees. So let's say you had it in at 0.5. Every half inch, it would go around one time. But we're setting this. Again, just to revolution in height, six by two. Hit OK. Uh, you're going to pick a, a different color to set that to. So, what do we want here? Let's say we, I'm going to do a steel polish on that one. You pick whatever you want. All right, this will be a perfectly fine front view there. Um, it'd probably be better if we could see the little circle on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and right click on the right view, set current view as front. And then I'm going to go to save. Again, in all caps, uh, I will call this coil. Notice it goes right back into my project folder. Then I would be going uh, back to my drawing, double clicking on uh, the coil to get to that sheet. Go to base view, brings in that. I'm going to have a right view, top view, isometric. Right click, hit OK. So I've got my views. Again, I'm going to edit this view, right click edit view, you're going to put the color on, you're going to change the scale to half scale for everything here, always half the scale of the original. Um, and so we got color, half scale, and we're going to call this coil as well, in all caps, we'll hit OK. And I forgot to click the light bulb uh, to turn that on. So the light bulb is what's going to have that pop up. Notice this is all filled in. You're going to add some dimensions. Look back on Schoology for what dimensions to add. You'll be adding the coil size and revolutions as a note. And that is simply an annotation. You'll just put a text box out here, and you're going to write that.